I'm meteorologist Rob Hart from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Corpus Christi with your early afternoon update on Tropical Depression Harvey, which is currently located over the southwestern Gulf of Mexico with maximum sustained winds of around 35 miles per hour. Now, Harvey is forecast to move to the northwest over the next several days and gradually intensify, and therefore a hurricane watch is in effect for all of the middle Texas coastal areas, along with a storm surge watch, also in effect for late this week, meaning we could have tropical storm and hurricane force conditions by late week, along with a life-threatening storm surge along coastal locations. Now, Harvey is forecast to become a hurricane by the time it is off the middle Texas coast, and conditions are likely to rapidly deteriorate around Friday morning. Aside from the strong winds, we can also expect heavy rainfall, storm surge, and tornadoes. Now, the onset, at least the earliest reasonable time of tropical storm force winds to arrive along the middle Texas coast is Thursday night, but the most likely time that we'll probably see storm force, tropical storm force winds will be Friday morning as the storm approaches the area and conditions will deteriorate throughout the day Friday and we could even see some hurricane force winds by the end of the day. Though aside from the wind, heavy rainfall is going to be a very significant threat, again primarily across the eastern half of South Texas. Average rainfall totals across the coastal plains up to the northern coastal bend in Victoria area could be 6 to 12 inches with isolated amounts of 20 inches possible, especially across the northern coastal bend and Victoria area. And of course, this is going to lead to a significant flash flooding possibility. Now, farther west across the brush country towards the Rio Grande, rainfall amounts are going to significantly drop off. And some areas along the Rio Grande may have very minimal amounts, especially if the storm takes a more northern or northeastward turn. But overall, the main thing to remember or to focus on is that tropical storm forced winds and some storm surge impacts are expected to begin on Friday with a landfall, the center of the storm, making a landfall along somewhere along the middle Texas coast Friday night. The forecast is for a Category 1 hurricane at landfall, but a reasonable worst case scenario would be a Category 2 hurricane making landfall which could result in peak storm surge flooding of 4 to 6 feet above ground level along and to the right of the center, along and to the eastern part of the center of the storm. But the primary threat is going to be very heavy rainfall and flooding, especially if the system ends up stalling across South Texas throughout the weekend, and this could result in rainfall totals of 6 to 12 inches with a few areas, an isolated area or two, experiencing 20 inches of rain. That's the early afternoon update. We'll provide additional updates early this evening, overnight, and through the next several days.